All right, guys. Wanted to share something with you. These are my uh, uh, air impact sockets for years since uh, getting out of the Navy. So I started buying my own. These are all Cummins Pro. But I can't find them anymore. So I'm having to replace them with whatever other shit I can come up with to try and replace them. Now, what the thing is, um, I took these two sets on the KLR all the time and when I got back here, um, I take them down and leave them down at uh, Engine Joe's. That way, you know, he's got like 50 drawers, toolkits, and uh, it was a pain in the ass to look for shit, so I'd just leave these down there at the garage. So we'd use those for air tools. So now, see all these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He died back in November, and suddenly all these sockets started missing. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to take them back. Just like my old compressor, when his compressor went down, um, I brought my 20 gallon horizontal air compressor and I put it in his garage so he could use it anytime he wanted to and the switch went wrong went bad so he died in November and by this is August so in July my old compressor down there disappeared it doesn't even work. It needs a switch. But it disappeared. So I bought the new compressor. And now I'm buying bolts or sockets to replace the stolen ones. It's pathetic how bad it got. So that's fine. I'm not going to fight. They took the old compressor. They stole my hoses. So now I'm buying new hoses. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done fucking with it. I'll just replace everything. But I can't get these. I can't find these Cummins. Pro industrial tools. I can't find them anymore. I think these were like 20, 30 bucks a set on each side. Like this one would go up to an inch and an eighth. And of course they stole all the big ones over here. 24. There's a bigger one that goes there. But like I said, I used to put these on the KLR, one side on each side of my side boxes. It just gets pathetic when you start looking at this. 3A 7 16 goes there, half goes there, and the 3 8 goes there, I think. I have to look it up.
there's more bigger ones over here so 10 would be here but I can't remember what was there so like I said I had them all painted I had all the metrics painted red in the box so we knew where each one went back in and all the SAE was blue that went back in the blue box so now with my brain damage I ordered a new set of red uh, wrenches and blue is metric and red is uh, SAE so I'm fucked up I gotta repaint all that shit but I need a can of blue <sighs> red was painted for uh, communist and blue was SAE I don't have any blue paint all that KLR was painted blue that Muzzle Mike has now but I haven't ridden the bike up to uh, the advanced auto part to get a can of blue paint like this one I need to go out in my garage and run it through the wire but try and unfuck these but it's amazing the bullshit you can go through You know, it just kind of irritates me that uh, everything got theft out of that garage after he died. But as it was going down the hill, I started claiming all my tools and Whole chainsaw and I got all that stuff back so when I die uh, nobody will be coming here to borrow parts or tools I don't know if my brother will ever do any more work on his own vehicles anymore either. But just kind of irritating. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. I guess I'm just a. Uh, MT8 on the porch trip again. Just bugs me about tools, grease guns, green grease tubes that I bought that loaded up in the garage down there. Joe could use anything I had. I could use anything he had. And that's how it always was. But now it's like the children and their husbands, boyfriends, they're stealing shit out of the garage. Pathetic shit, man.
pathetic. So, like I said, um, when I decide that uh, Barbie is going out, nobody's getting that bike but one guy, and that's uh, Mr. Duh Factor, because he helped me figuring out how to help me fix that bike and I don't want anybody to ever try to deal with that fucking bike with all the bullshit that I went through with that except for Duff Factor because I know that he knows how to deal with that bike and if he wants to give it to his kids I'm fine with that I, I don't care about that just I already told him to, uh, when it comes time, um, I will give my brother his phone number and say, whenever you're ready to make a road trip with his rig, he can come and pick up the bike. And all the parts that I still have, like the rear shock factory, the front springs, factory, all that bullshit that we replaced all that. I replaced all that. So. I don't know what happens to the tools. Not a big deal. Just not theft. That's all I care about. Alright, NT8 on the porch. We'll talk to you later.